Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, I need to tell you about a really weird new product, which has been popping up over the past day or two, and it's got an exclusive Charizard in. I know, right? This sounds pretty gosh darn cool to me. There is a Costco product which has gone and been released, revealed, call it what you will, over in Canada, which has a brand new exclusive Charizard. I cannot be the only one that thinks this looks really kind of cool. Now... The image I'm using here has been shared by PokerCardX over on Twitter. And you can see there that essentially what we've got are a bunch of mini tins and a bunch of promos. Except they're not really promos. They are just reprints of existing cards. Except they have an exclusive holofoil pattern. So they very much are exclusive promos. Kind of. I don't know. The phrasing here gets super, super awkward. So we might as well start off having a little bit of a look at the Charizard. Now, this is a little bit weird because this is not the most recent Charizard. The most recent Charizard is the one from Vivid Voltage. This is the Charizard that came around in Team Up. Which frankly was a little while ago at this stage. It's been a little while, ladies and gentlemen. But apparently, the one from Team Up is um, coming back. Now, to give you some context here, if we take a look at Team Up as a set, it actually saw its release in February 2019. So we are coming on for two and a half years since this actually got a release. And now it's just, like, casually dropping in this particular box. Now... Obviously, the big question, anytime a new Charizard rears its big dragony firehead, the big question becomes, is this going to be the next super expensive Charizard? Probably not, if I'm honest with you. Like, there's plenty of Charizard out there. Generally speaking, when we're talking about big value, we are talking about cards that are just not easy to find. Is this one easy to find? It really depends how you look at it. On the one hand, it is only available in Canada. On the other hand, it's being given out in Costco. And the reports I've been hearing on the Facebook groups is that, you know what? This is not a difficult product to get hold of. Speaking of which, if anyone in Canada thinks they can hook me up with one of these for a reasonable price, please, please, please hit me up on Twitter at the Wossie. Tell me you don't want to see me open one of these on the channel. I really want to open one of these on the channel. So, how is it an exclusive Charizard if it's the one from Team Up? It is a Cosmo Holofoil pattern. Basically, it's one where it looks like if you hold it up to the light and move it around a bit, it looks like there's basically a bunch of stars all over the Holofoil pattern, as opposed to the general Sun and Moon Holofoil pattern, which tends to be basically just lines. Kind of lines going from top to bottom. It is a different kind of holofoil pattern. It is still just the Charizard from Team Up, but it has a different holofoil pattern. So, is it going to end up being a Grail card in the future? Is it going to be super expensive? Probably not, but it really depends on what happens in terms of how long this is out there and how many are out there. If this gets sold for like a week or two and then disappears forever and they only sell a couple thousand of them, maybe. But if this is just being sold in huge quantities at every Costco, and everyone that wants one can get hold of one really easily, this is going to end up being just a pretty cool Charizard, but a Charizard nonetheless. I mean, is it going to be worth more than the team-up promo Charizard, the pre-release promo? Maybe, probably not, although it might end up being a little bit rarer. It's It might not, to be fair. It's also... A different holofoil pattern, which does not beat different artwork and a stamp. But it is definitely not going to end up being worth uh, more and being more sought after than the staff team up Charizard. At least I would be very, very surprised if that happened.
because obviously the amount of staff Charizard out there is significantly less than the regular pre-release Charizard. So there is a Charizard, one of the other exclusive Galaxy Foil cards that are coming out there. Well, we've got the Dragonite from Unified Mines, a really nice one that lets you attach an extra water and an extra lightning energy. It's a cool card, but being a stage two meant that it never really saw much play. Do remember, these are rotating out when we hit September, so I wouldn't buy these to play with. But it's a cool card, and these are existing cards of a different holofoil pattern that, as it stands at the moment, can only be gotten here. And maybe it changes, but I find it very, very unlikely that this would ever be released anywhere else. That would seem very, um, very unlikely. Now, the far right card, we can't see the picture, but we do know it's a psychic Pokemon from Unbroken Bonds with a free cost Psy Shock attack and an ability, which means it is the Mewtwo from Unbroken Bonds. Now, in terms of playability here, this is number one. This is the best of the four cards in terms of playability. It's a phenomenal card that sees a huge amount of play. It's the one where when you play it from your hand to your bench, you can put a supporter card from your discard pile on top of your deck, and then you either draw it straight away with Aura and Guru, swapping it for a card in your hand, or you just draw it at the beginning of your next turn. It's a phenomenal card that sees a huge amount of play. It's great. Also, you notice here we got Charizard, Dragonite, Mewtwo, and the last one we haven't looked at yet is Pikachu. They are really going for popular Pokemon here. Like, make no mistake about it, they are really going hard on these are the Pokemon that you want. They are going for, you know, Pikachu and Charizard are number one and two. Mewtwo could well be number three. And who doesn't love Dragonite? These are very, very clearly Pokemon that have been chosen because they're amazing and everybody loves them more than anything else also we've got kind of late sun and moon era cards except for the pikachu which is the pikachu from shining legends now shining legends is not really a late sun and moon era card it's kind of a early mid sun and moon era card you know, we're talking october 2017 this is a card that came out four years ago and it's now getting a Galaxy Foil print four years later. That is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely awesome. If you like this print of Pikachu, brilliant. If you collect Pikachu, brilliant. Either way, it's an exclusive Cosmo Foil Pikachu. That's really kind of cool. The fact that it's coming four years later is weird. So why do we have these Galaxy Foil cards and or Cosmo Foil cards? And the answer is because they want to sell more mini tins. It really is as simple as that. You get the four promos and you get five mini tins. Now, as far as I am aware, and please do correct me if I'm wrong, but I've checked with people like the lovely Stephen Kent from Playscape Games, who is kind of nerdy about this like I am, and neither of us are aware of these being released anywhere else. And the rule basically is when we get repacked, this is clearly a repack, right? Repacks are made to sell unsold product. They take existing product that they've printed but not been able to sell, they repackage it, and then they sell it to us in a different form. If these were repacked promos, we would have seen them somewhere else before. The fact that we haven't seen them somewhere else before means that they have been essentially printed up for this box. Now, I don't know. I don't work for Pokemon. All I'm doing is using my Pokemon and business knowledge to make what I think is a pretty sensible prediction. But basically what has happened is this. Those Kanto Power Mini Tins did not sell as well as Pokemon wanted them to. They had a bunch left over. They wanted to sell them. They retail for like 10 bucks each. And they couldn't get rid of them. They weren't selling them well enough. So what they do is they package them up and they sell all five at one time. And then they go, well, hang on a second. All five of these at one time, if we couldn't sell one individually, or at least not as many as we wanted to, how are we going to sell all five at once? I know, let's print up some exclusive cards. What is the easiest way to sell a product of exclusive cards? You take existing cards, you pick cards with super popular Pokemon, you give them a new style of holofoil which will appeal to collectors, you whack it out, and frankly, it works. 
and I am proof that it works. I have bought zero Kanto Powers Mini Tins. I've, I've mentioned on this channel before, I'm, I'm not a Mini Tin dude. They're great for some people, they're not for me. But now that it's been packaged with all five of them in one with four exclusive Cosmo foil cards, I want them. I want this. I Like I said earlier in the video, I am looking for a Canadian middleman to hook me up with this product. If you could be that Canadian middleman, please do let me know. I would be very, very grateful. I will say nice things about you in the video. So I've gone from I don't want one of these to I want all five of these. And that's why these products exist. That's why they get made. As it stands at the moment, this appears to be an exclusive to Costco in Canada. So that is a little bit awkward, unfortunately. I can't get one, but I'm hoping I can. Now, as for the Canter Power Mini Tins, they are classic Mini Tins. There are five of them. They come with an art card. You can line them up and it makes a lovely picture, and that's lovely. You get two packs and a coin. I am not going to go through the packs because I know that sometimes they change the packs that are in the Mini Tins. And it gets very confusing, and I don't want to try and mislead anybody. I know some mini tins have had evolutions in. I do not believe these are the ones that have evolutions in. I don't think that that's the case. So there we go. This is cool, right? This is a very cool product. It's a weird product. It's not a product we were expecting to see. It's got a promo Pikachu that's been reprinted with a different holofoil pattern four years later. But if we're looking at how to repack products to make them more appealing, this seems like a pretty gosh darn good way to do it. That's what I think, at least. I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG radio.